Hi, Bob. Hi, Susan. Hi, Paul. Hey, Bob. Today is Tuesday, April 19th, uh, meeting of the Berlin Board of Health. Um, we have an agenda, but we're going to jump the agenda. Um, spoke with, hi Joe, I'm Paul. I, we uh, spoke last night. Okay, so uh, if you want to pull a chair a little closer, <laughs> uh, Joe lives at 81 Walnut. What number? 81. 81. 81 Walnut. Is Monahan with a GH? No, M O N A H A N. Which end is that? Next to Phipps. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. All right, Joe, why don't you? Uh, I'm going to ask you to repeat a bunch of stuff you told me yesterday, okay, for the sake of the sure. board and uh, our secretary. Sure. So. Okay, um, my name's Joe Monahan. I live at 81 Walnut uh, with my wife and four children. We moved here two years ago uh, from Boston. Um, and we're very thrilled to be in this town. It's a big relief. I grew up in Dorchester. Oh, did you? Um, no. Big difference. Big difference. Yeah. Um, and I'm with the Boston police, hopefully not too much longer, but... It's a big difference. You got enough time in? Are you looking at retirement? I'm getting close. Hey, really? Good to 29. Oh, wow. So hopefully wow. much longer. <laughs> um, but I'm here tonight. Uh, first of all, I, I want to apologize. I had printed three copies of <clears throat> a document that is relevant to why I'm here. Mm -hmm. It is a 100-page document from the state. <laughs> I printed the 2008 version I didn't print the most recent, which is 2019, 2018. Okay. So I will give you mine. It is not the full document, and I can deliver to the board copies of the full document if you would like me to. I can do that. But I want to apologize. I was walking out the door, and my wife looked at it and said, do you realize this is from 2008? I printed the wrong document. Okay. In any event, um, the reason why I'm here is because as I said, two years ago, I purchased 81 Walnut Street uh, from John and Lisa Phipps. Yep. And John and Lisa Phipps grew up at 83. At that 83 used to be one parcel of land, and they subdivided it. And I believe it was 2008, John and Lisa built my house yeah. on that subdivided lot. Um, so they sold us the house, and they moved down to Carter Street for two years. Uh, at the beginning, last fall, they moved home back to 83. Right. They moved back to 83. Um, so for the two years that we have been at 81, we have lived with Mrs. Phipps, I believe it's Ann Phipps, Anne Phipps yep. as our neighbor. <clears throat> John and Lisa came home in 2000, in the fall, this past fall, and about three weeks ago, John, I was in my yard, and John came over to me, and he said, I just want to let you know, I am planning to put up a fence on my property line, an eight-foot cedar privacy fence. And when I asked him, <coughs> well, is there a particular reason why he was doing it, he said to me, he's going to get cattle, and he's going to get some pigs, and he wants to have an area for them to graze. Now, the proposal, and I'm going to hand you the deed of our property. This is from the Mass Land Court record. It's the official deed of the property. Mm -hmm. And it, I tried to label it as best I could. Mm -hmm. right. And again, it's my approximations. They're, it's Sorry. not... I'm yeah. not a surveyor, but just to give you a ne sense of neither, what I'm talking neither are we. About. So okay. you know, all right. I just wanted to give you a sense of what what the issue is. is this is the plot plan. Yeah. Oh, okay. This is his one. Right. Okay. Where he oh, so it's going to be right on the. Right. This was all the original lot. That was the original lot. And this delineates where it was separated Correct. back in. I think it was whatever 08. year you said it. It was oh eight. Correct. Oh yeah. eight. Okay. So in 08, when, when they subdivided the lot, they did obtain a variance for the placement of the well, of my well. 
And I think the issue was the placement of the well head being too close to a property line. And then they were granted a variance for that. Mm -hmm. That isn't the issue. The issue is, if you look at the location of where I've labeled my well, and the location of the property line, the property line and the proposed, the proposed fence is essentially going to be one of the sections that enclose the animals that he wants to bring in, the cattle. The distance from my well to that fence is 12 feet. The land, the topography, where it says proposed animal grazing uh, stockade, it is a downslope. It's not a huge downslope, but it is the grade goes down towards my well. I am concerned that the, I, I started to get concerned, not, my family moved here to live in the country. I just want to make it clear. Right. We love animals. I, I'm thrilled that on various occasions we've been able to be close to the animals, mm -hmm. but they've never proposed bringing them so close to my wellhead, mm -hmm. and I think that's the issue. Mm -hmm. So when I started researching it, there is state guidance, and this is the document that, again, I apologize, but I will give this to you and I will get everyone copies. Essentially, the state guidance recommends that an animal stockade or grazing area be not closer than 100 feet to a wellhead. So I spoke to John about this, and he didn't receive it very well. So we've had a very good relationship, certainly with Anne, over the course of the two years. And I, I don't want to have an adversarial relationship at all with him. But the concern is he's proposing to put that fence 12 feet within my well, and that's my family's main drinking water source. And I do understand, as I spoke with Paul last night, you know, modern wells, the way they're drilled, encasements, I do Sanitary understand seals, that. Yeah. But the fact is, somebody at the state produced a document, and as Paul stated to me last night, there must be some science behind the recommendation of 100 feet from the wellhead. Now, I've gone to John and I've said, John, I'm not looking to kill you in any way. I, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled you want to put animals. But I've tried to ask him, is there any way we can compromise in terms of not making it 12 feet from the wellhead? <coughs> if, if he would be willing to back that up a little. I mean, 50 feet, what is reasonable? In the document, it talks about the following are reasonable recommendations for placement, and it, it, the list of things that could be problematic about the well and certain distances and why they're needed. So again, I do apologize, but this, okay. the relevant pages are page, pages 5, 18, and 19, where it, specifies, it specifically speaks of animal stockades and grazing areas relative to the placement of the wellhead. So when I started inquiring about this about a week ago, when I did speak to Bill, Bill basically said, well, our town has no, we have no policy on it. But I guess my response to that is, well, you do have a policy, and the policy is there is no distance. But is that because it hasn't been brought up as an issue or not? I think I have a legitimate concern here that grazing cattle 12 feet from my wellhead could potentially prove to be problematic. Do you know how deep your well is by any chance? I'm sorry, sir. Do you know how deep your well is? I well think it's either, one, it's either 180 or 240. I can find out for uh, sure. Sorry, yeah, it's in the okay. cap. It, it probably was in one of your... When you sold it, it's probably in the documents. They should, they should be able to come up with that, but that's okay. nice to know. Yes. So Merlin does not have a regulation. Well, no. it's no, we don't. Mm. No, and it is 18 inches above. Your wellhead still is above 18 inches or a foot or so above the ground. 
Yeah, it's bigger than 18. Yeah, but well, it's, it's, it's a drilled well in the bedrock with the sanitary right, seal. But I it's mean, a, it's but contemporary. It's, but it, it's, it's contemporary. It's up to it's up to code. Is what yeah. I'm saying. It's a newer well. Yeah. Oh wait. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Oh wait. And we don't know where the homeowners, uh, your neighbor's well, is located. Do we? uh, I don't know where their well is. Yeah. I think it's on the other side of their property. Do I remember right energy. because they they had that um, serious um, septic rebuild and they that had to be uh, kept away. I think the well is on the other side of their house. So the septic house. is probably here in this area. Uh, the septic is here in the front. In the Correct. front. Okay. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, you yeah. can see it from Walnut Street when you drive. Up. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a big slope. Yeah, and, I, I remember seeing it. I mean, they, they're working on it, but I couldn't I remember. remember Mike Sawyer was front. doing it, and Mike he put yeah. bales at the, the foot yeah. to minimize erosion to your property right. and so forth. And it wasn't a problem. Yeah, no, he's very he's job. very conscientious yeah. in his work. So. Why? So you have a brook coming from the Couldn't the right? homeowner. Thank you. Yeah. The Yes. Put their grazing area along the whole backside. No, I, that's a question for them. No yep. idea. What I can I can tell you right now, what they have is where this grazing area is. I drew this to make you see what mm -hmm. they're doing. Mm -hmm. What they have in this area right now is they have three grazing areas that are fenced off in three sections. Okay, three sections, sure. A lot the regrowth the and, closest yeah. one to the property line is 57 feet from the property line. He is proposing oh, to, to take the it. one, to expand it even further, okay. closer to my property line. Gotcha. The third one, the one that's closest to my property line, they put in the summer after we moved here. They built the third one with just the traditional wooden enclosures. And I think they had a couple of horses they were boarding for a while. Right. But that third one, it's 57 feet from the property line, which I, I don't think I have a problem with that. I mean, that, that's a pretty good distance. Now, my uncle, I grew up on my grandmother's farm in Maine. My uncle had a dug spring well, <clears throat> right smack in the middle of the cow pasture. Oh, you And I Is that how you got so tall? <laughs> and it was some of the best damn tasting water there was. <laughs> I mean, and you know, we used to <clears throat> run by the well, and um, and no one ever got sick. So, sorry, a little side story, but. Well, I, I, again, I don't dismiss that. My only response would be, why is somebody at the state EPA putting out a document that, that gives I, pretty clear guidance on 100 feet? There must be some science behind it. Well, <clears throat> I certainly can't argue that. One of the... Uh, I'm going to say issues or one of the points here is my understanding what the state puts forward is a guideline. Guidelines are not regulations. Yeah, only regulations can be enforced. Guidelines, I don't know, I guess they rely on common sense and a bunch of other things. Reasonableness. Uh, reasonableness, sure. yep, yep. Um, just a couple points, or if if he continues to have three sections of grazing, okay, to me that might not that might very well indicate that the one closest to you well is not going to be used all the time, uh, allowing vegetation to, to. I'm speculating. I I don't know this. I'm not saying that I I know this, Joe, but that. Um, He's going to alternate pastures as they grow. So animals or livestock may not be present all the time immediately adjacent to your property. The only thing I can offer in response to that is he specifically said to me, he is taking out 
the current configuration. Oh, okay. All right. That, that changes things. Okay. And he yep. intends to make it one big, one big grazing okay. area. All right. He specifically right. told me he that. He did that. Okay. So forget about that, what I was oh, just saying. It's a valid point. <laughs> I bring it up because he specifically addressed and I'm not it. I'm not making it to to be a counterpoint or argumentative. Sure. It's just common sense. I sure. have a history on a dairy farm and um, you know, I know how some of that stuff works. Um, I'm not sure what the rules are on the fence either, Bob. Well there there is no rule on the fence. You can put a fence on your property line. Can you put but you gotta put the good line? side towards the neighbor. No, you don't. That you do not have to do that because I've been through that with 19 Carter. Huh. We did that. We chose to put the good side to our neighbor. Right. It's a um, common courtesy. Yeah, it, it is it a common courtesy. Cur it's, it's a common right? courtesy, but it's I not. It was, yeah. I, I do not believe so. I thought we had to make, be able to maintain it, but that isn't so either. To be able to maintain both sides of your fence on your own. Well, I'm not sure. The building inspector, I guess, would be the one that would... I don't know. When we put the fence in at 19 Carter, yeah. we kept it a foot extra on right. our property. Yeah. Yeah, Which is, and the basic sure. reason is, is we control one foot on the neighbor's side of the fence so they can't be leaning things against it and oh, doing that. Yeah. Uh, you start getting into legal hairs, which, right. which I hate, but, you know, oh, unfortunately yeah. we live in that society. Um, well, John did say to me in the course of the discussions when I said you know, we were, were standing right there, it, it was surveyed recently, mm -hmm. and I said, is this literally where you're going to put the fence? And he did say, well, no, I'll put it back about a foot and a half. Probably. Which, is the, which is the smart thing. You, but for, now it goes from 13 to 14 feet, yeah. which... Yeah, yeah, yeah. From your standpoint, doesn't mean a hell of a big right. I understand. <laughs> Um, well, as I, as I told you, we're, we're just taking this under advisement tonight. We're going to need to look at this document. Uh, I do want to reiterate, though, that <clears throat> guidelines are not something that are enforceable, you know, because it's not a regulation. Uh, that's just the way the law works. And as, as a Board of Health, we can't regulate land use. So if, if John Phipps wants to put animals there, he can. Now, if he started stockpiling manure on your property line, now that's an actionable item because that, that's a nuisance. We've dealt with that before in, in other locations in town. Excuse me. That is... Um, so we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to look into this. Going to have to have some more conversation with with Bill when he gets back. Um, the DEP, um, which you you've cited here, they really have no jurisdiction over private wells. They have jurisdiction over public water supplies. Um, so we get into, well, I hate to say it, there's there's legalese. You know, um, and that's something you're probably you may end up having to consider in in your conversations with John. I mean, we will certainly get back to you. It's probably going to be a couple weeks. Uh, I don't know how quickly John's going to be pulling the trigger on his plan. He had been floating the first, the first or second week of May. May. Okay, we you may want to get your well tested. For a baseline. For a baseline. Yeah, uh, it, it's probably a waste of money, not right. a lot of money, yeah. but it's probably not sure. a bad idea. Sure. Um, that you know, way, if, you, if there are any changes, I'm, yeah. I'm just trying to have a conversation with him where if it ever did go back, I don't want this guy to put in his $30,000 fence and now have to, yeah, worst case, have to move it. I'm trying to be reasonable. Well, at some point, uh, the burden will be on him. I mean, I understand where you're coming from, and you know. And if it ever, the problem is, if it ever did go that way, and I understand it's it may be, maybe not likely, but now there'll never be a relationship. Mm -hmm. Now the guy's going to be. Yeah. yeah. And that's. He'll never talk to me again. 
And just certainly want to be unfortunately. reasonable with. I don't yeah. want to be a neighbor to them. I don't want to have a, and I, I mean, this is a small town. That's why we came out here, because people are nice, as opposed to where I grew up for 50 years. <laughs> hey. But people are people. I get it. Yeah. I'm just, I'm trying to be reasonable with him in terms of, yeah. 13 feet doesn't seem reasonable. When there is, as you point out, guidance. There, there's some school of thought to say, okay, there should be some distance, <clears throat> some reasonable distance. So you don't have a problem with the 57 that he's currently at? No, because that, to me, after reading about this and looking at other states' guidance, some states say 400. Some states say 100, some say 50, some say nothing. I'm just trying to come up with something that's reasonable. Has he indicated how many head of livestock? He said a couple of cat, a couple of cows, some pigs, whatever a couple is. He didn't give me a specific number. Because if it were me, okay, if I was in your situation, and I'm not saying I am, I I would um, that would interest me, you know. Because I think they only have a total of a little less than five acres. There, Correct. Right? So, you know, uh, two head of cattle versus six is a big difference in that amount of space. Uh, pigs, that's another, another, no pun intended, that's another animal altogether. I mean, I actually raised pigs once at my house. It was like an adventure. Yeah, and after you're feeding them for a while, they're not as fun. Well, uh, when I have to walk down the street and bring them back, it was uh, a little challenging. Oh, God. <laughs> well, is, is that regulated? Uh, no. So that's... You know, and the yeah, other, the other thing old. is Berlin is a right-to-farm community. Correct. And you may know more about that than I do. I, I don't know what that encompasses, but um, uh, from my general understanding, if someone wants to farm, quote unquote, you know, they have that right within certain parameters. I don't know what those parameters are. I can't help you on that. I thought there was an acreage. You had to have a certain amount of acres. <clears throat> from a practical standpoint, there is. I don't know if there is from a legal standpoint. Okay. Um, at one point, I want to say for, uh, for one head of livestock, it was an acre. Mm -hmm. But I don't think that was a, a, a legal. Right limit it was just if you wanted to do it right and, and sure. make sure the animal has feed and, and all that um, again we're getting over my head when it comes to that and um, again I, I'm not, I will say it once more I'm not looking to hurt any guy who's trying to no, raise I mean, animals we got that. my family loves animals I don't care how many animals <clears throat> he puts over there but I don't think it's unreasonable we might. <laughs> to just have it be, I, I understand. Yeah, we, we might. I'm just uh, looking for a reasonable space to my water source. Mm -hmm. Well, as I told you, and I would stand firm because the science backs it up, with a drilled well sealed to bedrock, there is virtually no issue of contamination. You can technically, if you, if you get into the science, you could drill a well right through the middle of a septic system, hit good water, and not have any adverse effects. Case it off, you know. Yeah, if it's, if it's a properly drilled well, and they all are today. Yeah. I mean, you know, yeah. they're not hand dug, and they're not field stone lined, and all that sort of thing. Um, I'm sure that only gives you a little bit of comfort, um, you know, and... We just have to look into this. Uh, okay. I really can't tell you any more than that tonight, Joe. Okay. Other than it was very nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And welcome to Berlin. Thank you. <laughs> You'll get through this, and Berlin will be fine. You'll be fine with Berlin, but um, <sighs> being new to the neighborhood isn't always easy in this town. I understand. I was told you had to be here 30 years before they even talked to you. <laughs> when I moved, moved it, that was 36 years ago. <laughs> You're still not in. Yeah, I'm not, no, I'm I'm just, not part just of the cool kids yet. So can't. if you haven't heard from um, Bill Brookings or myself,
We have town meeting. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be meeting the first Tuesday because we usually leave that available for town meeting carryover, which means we would our next meeting is likely to be May 10th. Yeah, but I don't think there's going to be a town meeting carryover this year. Uh, from what I got in the mail today, I don't think so either. But um, aside from that, we'll, we've got time to, to do some digging, to have conversations with Bill Brookings. Um, certainly feel free to call the DEP yourself and, and try and put some fences around what their document says, you know, and understanding what they mean by guidelines. Um, I think I know what they mean, but I'm not, I'm not going to say that I absolutely do. So, right. Okay. I hope, hope you appreciate, you know, we're, we will follow through on this. I understand. Can I just respectfully ask, are you going to plan to speak to Mr. Phipps or what? Um, we're not obligated to, but I, um, I'll say, yeah, I'll talk to him just to, just to try and get um, a better handle on his intentions. Okay, so it's not coming through you, so I hear it from the horse's mouth, and um, then we can compare notes. Okay. All right? Okay. I'll do that. That's reasonable. Okay. All right. Thank you. How old are your kids? Uh, 10, 8, Seven, six, and four. Oh, oh cool. Wow. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. you're moving. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. And they're homeschooled, so they're always around. Oh, oh terrific. Wow. Oh, well. All right. Well, nice to meet you, Joe. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. your time. Bye-bye. Thank you. Okay. Which would you like to discuss next? The TS, the flyer, or the regulations? Well, um, we can touch on the regulations. Um, it's uh, been brought to my attention. We really don't have to post a hearing um, to reduce regulations, but uh, in you conversations see. with Bill, I think it would be wise to do that just to make sure that we're absolutely um, doing things according to uh, legal standards. So we'll have to pick a date and uh, post it in the newspaper. Um, when you really have to uh, have a hearing is when you are increasing regulations. When you're right. uh, deleting them, it's not a big deal. Uh, I did chat with Bill about um, both Bolton and Lancaster have, have rolled back regulations, and I asked him what he's noticed as a side effect from that. You know, is there an outburst of building, uh, whatever, and he says it's basically negligible. Neither town has seen uh, any, any real increase <coughs> due to the relaxation of regulations. So that made me feel a little bit better yeah. because I know there's a lot of building pressure in Bolton for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, Lancaster I'm not, not as aware of, but um, I still think um, without going going through them one by one, I still think they make sense. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Title V has made sense for a long time. Right. And uh, a previous board, probably back in the 1990s, is the one that really wrote our current regulations. 87 or 92? Uh, the bell. Yeah, I'm not sure which, so. <laughs> but we're talking, we're talking thirty years, give or take. <laughs> These were the ones we used were reprinted in two thousand, so that's yeah. <laughs> that's the reprint. Can we look at your? Can I look at your calendar? Little calendar thing. I'm surprised. 
Well, oh, there is. That, that kind there of, is. But it, it's uh, basically surface. Uh, yeah, but which, I, be, I grew up in the city too. I'd be afraid if there were animals near my door. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's. Just, that's yeah. That's it really is isn't an issue. No. Yeah. It's 200 feet. It, and to your point, <coughs> I almost said it, but I didn't. When your frame of reference is the city, and you move out to the country, yeah. it's a whole different, you know, it's like you got to turn your, take your brain right. and turn it yeah. 90 degrees or 180. It's, it's different. Um, and, you know, so many of our rules and regs are put into place because of violations in the city. Lead paint and all that sort of thing. You know, kids chewing on stair risers, really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You know, <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> But that's to protect the public from yes. slumlords and things like that. Yeah. So a lot of the rules and regs are well intended, but they originate because of so many violations and, and you know just loser landlords and things like that. Yeah. <coughs> People in the country tend to be, we can be messy, but we tend to be a little bit more responsible. Because yeah, I grew up in the city, so I'm, yeah. I'm kind of... Yeah. But I've never had well water either. I always had town water. Right. Yeah. So. Well, as Paul said, basically you can put it right, a, a, a well right down to a septic, but because it, yeah. it's it's a leach area, it's, it doesn't so, go below the water. I mean, your water, it's two hundred foot. Surface water, surface water doesn't penetrate the bedrock. Yeah. And okay. that's where your well is. Okay. You aquify it down below. And that's so the bedrock, so the bedrock acts like a membrane. Right. Anything that comes down to it flows off. Yeah. So if you have a decent well, like you're saying, yeah. you don't okay. That's what you know, if you have a well. if you if you have a shallow hand dug well or something, right. yeah, you yeah. know, then okay, you gotta pay attention. Someone okay. below the surface would cover the old ones which you know, then you would worry about this. Okay. Like I say, 2008, oh. this is... Okay, so that's kind of... Uh, How about we shoot for May, I think, 17th? May 17th. For our hearing. Um, assuming we go first and third, that would be all right. So that would be third week, May 17th? Yeah, the first, the first Tuesday is the third, May 3rd, and the second Tuesday is the 17th. Okay. Was that why Paul Wheeler was here? Oh, no, he had something. something for Bill. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. I'll have to work with, I'll take on the task of working with Mary Arada mm -hmm. for the appropriate wording. Wording, yes. To put in the Clinton items to advertise yeah. the hearing. Yeah, the sooner the better. Okay. Now you yeah, all have a copy of the proposed regs. Mm -hmm. yep. Memorize them. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, you are must have already because you've done. We've been through. Well, a few I minutes. just I felt that I needed to put them in front of oh, you God, again. You I'm glad you did so that. that you're familiar with it. Yep. So when somebody <clears throat> asks a question, I expect you to all provide intelligent answers. Back up. <laughs> Don't it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> I mean, none of this is new. No. 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 The only thing that this has been dangling for two years, yeah. <laughs> two or more. Yeah. Uh, it would save us on hearings and variances, I think. Uh, yeah, get, yeah. Get us out of that deep, the, yeah. the that dark was ages. A, that was the sole purpose yeah. of looking at the regulations mm -hmm. that we did. If it's a common one, we might as, like you say, as Paul said, Title V has been around for quite a while. We should get a little updated. And you want to do it at normal times? You want to do it at 6, 6.30, 7? No, yeah, normal to you. Okay. Okay. I don't want to interrupt Walter's dinner. No. Mm. Okay. Okay. 
the topic near and dear to my heart, only because I've got Clinton offset, well, holding on pricing for mattresses. Um, and do you, do you need a copy of this flyer? Uh, I could take one, but I, it's just last year's, right, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah that's fine with me. I don't, I'm all I forgot to bring mine. Hmm. Let me go. Want me to grab a couple copies? Yes. Let so, I me mean, make copies of what you have or grab some. No, I'll give them new ones. Yeah. I don't right. want to read my scribbles. <laughs> How many do I need? I need one. Just one. One for you and Bob. Bring, bring two or three, Donna. We have to redo the wording on the flyer. You can't say, oh, it's good, because no. it's not good. <laughs> we need new words. And I'm, I'm like, I don't say I'm done. I am trying to gear myself up for <laughs> another three years. I found nobody's running against me. Nobody's running against anyone Sorry. in the Oh, really? Yeah. Because uh, I said, if I found a good candidate, gonna they have to be alive and breathing. <laughs> <laughs> I, and your qualification, your, your, your um, um, criteria are outstanding. Well, I yeah, would, if, well. if it was an appropriate candidate, I would not only support them, but I'd help them run. <laughs> I got my seventy-five dollars back for my refrigerator. I turned in to the. Uh, oh, thank you. The, the uh, state. You know, they came and picked it up. Mass Electric sent me. Oh. No. Yeah. Seventy-five bucks. Oh, I sold my freezer for seventy-five bucks. I had a little. Yeah. This this was just an old one. That had to go anyway, and, and they, they'll pay you to take it. Oh, mine was good. I got some nice I know, I know, but it's got to be done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, you know, and I'll update all the the years and the dates yeah. that were open and closed and crap like that. Yeah. I was going to remove the residents must follow current. I was just thinking that maybe we left. should leave that. Leave it? Yeah. All right. I would leave it because you don't know. We don't know. That's right. the problem. Right. Yeah, I mean, we're already up to 4.2% positivity rate. Wow. Uh, you know, three... Four weeks ago, we were 1.51. This yeah. thing, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to go away. No. no it's going it, to it's, be yeah, it's, linger for a while. It's fluid. Well, if it doesn't get out of control again. Yep. Yeah. All right. So what did we decide uh, on a price for? Um, well, we're yeah. trying not to change the oh, okay. annual I see. I see. price, but what is being, what no. Pete suggested already, is changing the fee items. Right. Did he give you that list? Not yet. Well, oh. he gave me an initial list. Okay. He wants to raise the price of TVs from 35 to 40 and from 25 to 30, you know, $5 more each for the TVs. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say right now, let's uh, skip over the pricing and deal with the, the murky wording? areas, the yeah. wordy er wording okay. areas. Yeah. Okay, okay yeah, because the, the one thing that, the couple things that I've run into issues with, the first one is the senior fee, one to two person household only. We've got a, I mean, if there's three people in the house, they don't get the senior rate, and it's very confusing. So I don't know if there's any other way. You know, that came about because <coughs> some people were concerned they were grabbing uh, grandma right. yeah. with a right. household of 10 and dragging her down to get the discounted sticker. Um, and this the senior fee also came up because the transfer station manager had an issue with one particular family that he knew the daughter had moved home at the start of COVID. And he felt that that wasn't fair. But it's COVID. I mean, she, she could move back up in six months, too. I mean, 
then it'd be back to one. Right. But like right. for me, I have a situation where she'll never leave. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, so I'll never get the, the discounted <laughs> price. Yeah, but I mean, how much trash does she generate? I guess that was my... Nothing. She barely gets out of bed. Right. So that's why I I know. I thank you for your support. <laughs> I mean, my, I would... My son generates a lot of trash, but... <laughs> I'd personally take, you know, the one to two person household only out. Right. But I don't know. That's... I'm one person on the board. Uh, let me let me go with low hanging fruit. I'm going to say that uh, we eliminate the hardship fee oh, as that, per assessor's list. That was another. Uh, I'm going with the easy stuff first. Okay, because my th can I give you my thought on yeah. that? Yeah. Okay. Um, a lot of people call the assessors and say, "What well, I need to get on this list." So, <laughs> and it's like, and not, and this was before I ended up in the assessor's office. Uh, my thought, my proposal is we have our own hardship list. We, we type up something, you know, similar to you know, whatever, just say um, hardship list, contact the Board of Health for an application. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or put an application yeah. on the website because there are some people that, I, I mean, that's, or we can strike it completely. And, and we don't well, they really have to know show, who we've given hardship. Well, they have to show taxes at the assessors, right? The yearly yes. tax returns. Yes. And that, we don't want to get into See, that. See, the, the slippery slope yeah. for me right. is I don't think the Board of Health should be in the decision making exactly. of that because yeah. now we're getting into personal, private information. Correct. Um, yeah, it would make life easier, but it would also make life more complicated for okay. us, and it would leave us open to, yep. I don't know, something that I, I think is unsavory. I, I hear you so there. we either eliminate it um, altogether, okay. or, you know, is there, or you know, do the assessors... Um, they do have lists, mm -hmm. but I don't... Uh, I don't know how many people on that list would actually go for the reduced sticker. I think we only have like, what do we have, like three people I don't per know year? Anymore. I'm not sure anymore. That we, um, that contact us for the lower rates, so maybe we strike out the hardship? Yeah, one, and of, then we one of them just case. moved out of town. Oh, okay, so now we have maybe okay. two. Yeah. So, um. so why don't we just strike it, and then if somebody says we have an issue, we just do it case by case. I mean, yeah, I, I don't even like that, but I think that's the best approach. Yeah. I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I hear you. All right, so why don't we just strike it then? So that's one thing. That should be. Okay. Because I went around and around with this, this one couple that just yeah. moved out of town, okay. and, and she was relentless. Yeah. Like well, but I, and yeah. Yeah. I became Joe A-hole, I'm sure, but um, yeah. it's like we can't make certain uh, exceptions. Right. The okay. 70 senior fee is going to stay in, in Paul? Say what, Bobby? Yeah, the senior fee, yeah. 70 plus, so yeah. that takes care of a lot of the lower, you know. I think so. Yeah. All right. You know. All right, so the other one was the, the replacement sticker versus the additional sticker so maybe we should say we replace i don't know original sticker or a lot sticker versus well we additional some people like to <coughs> i put one on each of my vehicles right well, but that's the additional but this one is like a replacement so if oh. it falls off yeah well if it falls off there's no charge but yeah right but, but we were charging oh so replacement sticker is if you get um, if you sell you car, you right, anyone. or you lose it, so maybe we should put replacement sticker when purchasing your vehicle, or just leave it. Just leave replacement sticker. I would put right, Paul. There you yeah, go. but what we're going to have to do is give the people at the transfer station guidelines to that. Right. You know, yeah. it's right. one thing if Donna's dealing with it; it's another thing if the crew yeah, is dealing right. with it. Yeah, right. They don't see know. a sticker. You can't. Yeah, because yeah, I won't be dealing with that. I'm only but they'll dealing right, with right. As a rule, you won't. Right. right. They'll have to have a list of who has stickers. Yep. Right. All right. So that's our guidance. Right. All right. So then, a new resident half year fee. We had a couple issues this year. 
the people buying the stickers halfway through the year and they were not new resident? So maybe new resident only half year fee? With, uh, with certainly group? only. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> new residents only half year fee must show show uh, proof, proof of uh, residence? Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to make an economical way to say it. Um, we would get proof, proof of uh, date of residency. Yes. Yeah. So proof of how in the heck do you get that? Well, when you tax that's bill. their problem. Well, when you that's tax their problem. Yeah. It would be the first electric bill, first yeah. oh yeah, something right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Because what was happening is people were buying it in January. Well, I'm only paying for the half year, and I'm like, and I approached. What's been going on for the first half of the year? Yeah, well, right. July is the fiscal year. Right, exactly. <laughs> but they, but they, uh, several were coming through this oh, past I see. year, so that's yeah. why. <clears throat> right. That came up. Okay, so then it's just this one to two. So let's just house. clarify that new resident only. Um, Which I put in bold. Yeah. Yeah. Only part must show proof of date of residency or must show proof of residency because I think they'll figure it out, right? Yeah, in parentheses I would put proof. You know, I think we have to well, explain people, it. Unfortunately. Yeah, and people change their license. I mean, I had to change from nine. You know, even in time. Right. You right. Know, Change your registration to any license. Of date must show proof of date of residency. Mm -hmm. so is that what we? Okay. Yeah, which Paul says it's simple bill or something like you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so, replacement sticker would be zero then instead of ten, is what we figure. Well, because if if they get a new car, right. we would, like we would charge them ten dollars. Mm. Which but if it fell off, we're charging them zero? Is that? Yeah, that, that's what know. I'm saying. Yeah. 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 But I really don't believe there were a lot no. of no. stickers that no. fell off. No. I don't so that. we'll just leave that replacement sticker to Yep. Okay. yep. Regardless yeah. of what yeah. I was being told. <clears throat> okay, sounds good. Right. All right, so it's just this one to senior fee. Senior one fees. to two person household only. Do we just leave it in and no. let it ride? Senior. I'd take it out. I, but take one I think we should take it. What's that? The one to two person household only. Oh, 70 plus? Yeah, just leave senior fee 70 plus, but take out the one to two person right. household only. If that's all right. We'll yeah, because that was very difficult to police or prove. The, right. the people that were reading it were getting confused. <laughs> right, yeah. that's right. I know, I had one poor lady. They think the two people <laughs> have to live there. You know. <laughs> yeah, they do. Well, there's two of us, so backwards. I'm only going to pay this, the, you know, the one ten. Oh, right. And I'm like, no, no. it's not well, <laughs> right. That's where they were getting. The, the, the bottom line is, we're not going to be able to create a perfect right. situation. Right. There's always going to be somebody out there who's going to shine us. Right. You know, but, and, but and more, that just yeah. that comes comes with the territory. territory. Right. But the more clear cut we yeah, absolutely. Have, that's that's what's some, important right. with this, is making it right. clear cut. Because these are the ones that we're kinda of getting me this year. And the less that Pete and his guys have to deal right. with in terms of complexities, the better right. off we are. Right. Right. Okay, so we're gonna take that off. Because Bobby this. will get tired of dealing with them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you laugh, Bobby. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take that out of All right. So that oh. must have to be changed as well. The, the real. Uh, right. You know, I have Pete's list up in my truck. I can go get it. See if it matches up with what he gave you. Okay. Yeah, let me just go get that. You want me to get online to look at the Clinton on or not? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it, okay, you know, well, the bulk items we have to. Oh. You have to pay by. Where do you get rid of them? At the at the curb. No, the bulk stuff we yeah. have to go to the transfer. The, well, the DPW yard. Oh, you they take have, it to the uh, yeah. Yeah, they have okay. like yeah, like because I brought some leaves. I wonder how. Oh yeah, they still charge it for leaves. They don't. No, have no, 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 that's free. Oh yeah. But if you need, like, we get rid of a mattress and box spring, you have to drive it there, right. and you pay by stickers. So like a mattress is ten. Trash stickers. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, trash. that's right. So. Um, well, I got to get rid of some mattresses. I got to get rid of some. Yeah, you looked before at, November well, Yeah, I looked up. Well, I looked out in the back trailer. <laughs> yeah. The back thing, and there's three of Felicia's just uh, uh, Ashley's they left out there. So I, they're all singles, but still, it's like 
I didn't even know they were there. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Yeah, because when I had a dumpster cleaning out my mother's, they were like, don't put the mattresses in. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, they don't literally right. put them in the, yeah. at my, at the yeah, one so at we my house. A, we had, when we were cleaning up, it was a guy with a pickup truck. And my son and him went and got rid of the yeah. stuff. Well, mattresses aren't really just, uh, it's better to have them recycled anyway, no matter how you look well, at it. Well, you have two choices. Just, you bring it to the dump, you pay the fee, or take it apart yourself. You ever do one? I've done I've, it. I've it takes done it a, a couple of times. <laughs> I've done it a few times, too. Put oh, it in bags. Because I'm cheap. Yeah, I am, too. I, I had to try it. <laughs> I did. I put it in a couple of bags. I've done it. The, the box springs aren't as bad, because they're wood, you know. Those are, the, right. the regular mattresses, oh, my God, I don't know if they're worth the trouble. Oh, <laughs> So are we going to change anything in the items accepted? Uh, no. Solid waste, cardboard, bags, mixed with newsprint, aluminum, clean and recyclable trucks, styrofoam packing. Okay, so that's good. Not accepted. But I do want to address glass, styrofoam, and mattresses on the front piece. Uh -huh. That's where Paul's writing skills come into play. Right, right, right. On the front of the because right now we're, yeah. we're dumping glass. Yeah, it's crazy. Because they haven't emptied no, the no, glass container no, in no, almost we'll eight weeks. Right. Yeah, because January was the last time it was. And we're dumping out. styrofoam oh. because the companies that used to take well, styrofoam went out of business. Yeah. Was BP liable for not picking up the glass when they agreed to? But no. they don't have a place to bring it. I don't know. They, BP was taking it to Canigliaro. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will. I will have a price tomorrow on disposal and hauling for glass for BP. Oh, good. Okay. Good. I had a uh, well, about twenty minutes of seven. I was talking with BP tonight. Oh yeah. I didn't realize they take that old glass of water and make uh, Owens Corning and, and five glass out of it, Paul. Did you know that? But mm. they recycle glass, and that's where a lot of it goes. It's out west is big, big Owens. Maybe, Corning. maybe out west. Yeah. Uh, what we're looking at, I mean, Canigliaro, no. right. um, they should be shut down. Oh. Yeah, you said it was just a oh, mess. It's just unbelievable. A, just a mess. Oh. So BP has a place in Raynham. Oh yeah. Oh. And we, it uh, yeah, we looked at that. Okay. it's in the asphalt, I believe. Hmm. Yeah. But he's going to give me a price. It may be similar to uh, trash per ton, but uh, if it is, and so even if that now. even it, right, but it's even if it's that and the hauling is a little more. I, my thought would be we stay with recycling because otherwise we're really going to poison the well yeah. and people are not going to recycle anything. Yeah. Right. So. Yeah. And I mean something's got to break with that anyway, Paul. We got they're going to have to pay to get rid of you know it's the same as everything. We're going to have to yeah, just pay them. It's like know? what one ten a haul. It's, I mean, that's the state will step in. I, I did. Okay. Yeah. He had given me those numbers. You same numbers, okay? Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't say I agreed with them. No, no, I, I just want to make sure they, they were in alignment, that's all. What did you come up with? That's a lot, just $5 here and there, so. Yeah, I mean, this is what he and Pete marked down. And I didn't see any real reason to go up on the TVs. Yeah, so it was but, mm -hmm. but maybe Pete's smarter than we are, because everything else that I have looked at <clears throat> has gone up in price. Mm. Gas, groceries, heat, wood, yeah. fuel. Yeah, some of these fuel. I mean, you out. name it, everything's gone up. Mm -hmm. There's no telling that the prices that we're going to be charged right. by these vendors are going to go up. Should we be Is blank with mattress and box spring? Definitely. Till we know, I think. I don't know what that's going on. Yeah. I, that's I, a don't good idea. I don't think we should have a number in there because we don't know what that's going to be. Pete said he was calling around. I don't care. <laughs> no, I hear what you're saying. Well, I mean, I we're printing this, right? And uh, right. you know, tires and rugs. Yeah, because leave those blank. Yeah. Yep. Tires, are you gonna be blank? Tires blank, yep. rugs blank. Because Pete says that, and then we Pete. should just say no. Oh. All of the large amount of 
Imagine. Or the blank ones. Yeah, he says, but you know, they can come in with a regular car tire, right. or they can come in with these big tractor, tractor tires. tires. Right. Right. Truck Costs tires. Which is, a lot more which, to get rid of those. Yeah, because yeah, those aren't unreasonable. I'll tell you, I think one of the best deals on here is a couch for 25 or 30 bucks. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> Partly because, and this is going to be um, a large chair. <clears throat> See, I think, and I am going to push for an operational change down there that when somebody's getting rid of big items, that somebody from the, the staff goes out and helps to get rid of it yeah. because they get thrown into the container like pickup sticks. Right. And well, we're paying for a lot of airspace. Yeah, we do. Well, that Whereas was two people too. could direct where it yeah. goes. I mean, when I throw anything big away, I look for a hole in the yeah. container and fill it. And bring but, bring you know, it down if you have to. The yeah. average person does not do that. No. Yeah, right. They need to be coached. <clears throat> but that was put in your transfer station observations memo, too. Yes, it was, Donna. Thank you. Mm -hmm. But it hasn't been followed up on. Okay. Right because now it has to become um, a directive, so to speak. Personal. Which will be signed off on. And, and if, you know, I've spoken okay. with Margaret, okay. and we have the right to um, institute operational changes down SOP, there. SOP, yeah. Well, so. like what the memo that Sue did, we should do something similar for the specifics taken from that memo such as the bulk item, mm -hmm. and that signed off on. Okay. That's like pulling teeth. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. He didn't want to sign it. He didn't? He didn't want to, no, he read it. He wanted me. He wanted, then he proceeded to want to tell me about everything mm -hmm. that he wanted in the flyer. He didn't want to have to mark up the flyer or put any changes in writing. He just wanted to tell me and for me to go away. Well. And it's, but I said, no, you have to sign this, that you received it, and turn in your changes by. Yep. <laughs> that's the way it has to be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, we've learned that. I think that's All right. The only thing I want you to do is to review this and this. And you can put in pretty much whatever you want after I approve it. <laughs> okay. Is, at, what, at what level do I do this? High school? Um, uh, associate degree? You're writing uh, for the uh, town. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, mm -hmm. we'll it change it if you wish. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have to do that right this very minute. <laughs> You do not. Okay. Because you don't do well right this minute. I beg you. Okay. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Okay. End of story. <laughs> okay. so Shut her up. Um, just points of information. Uh, all the plastics we recycle do get recycled. They get separated, yep. bailed, and shipped to different remanufacturers. So if that ever comes up in conversation yep. or a question, that does happen. Same with waste paper. That gets sorted yep. and that gets recycled. Um, Just hopefully like we'll get back online with glass. Yep. Cardboard's all set. The cardboard is, yep. is pretty uh, straightforward. Yep. So is all the scrap metal. Right. Um, Glass. Um, we just got a check from CMRK for our textile recycling box. Oh, cool. Oh, is that our, we that's had our $90.30. We'll oh, take that's it. Awesome. I'm okay. you know, which is okay. frankly more than I expected. Yeah, so I didn't expect to see, didn't any expect any to see anything, anything right. but you know, that's, that's, awesome. that's good. So, oh, that's good. And, and Pete told me that people are using it, yeah. so that's good. You also wanted to talk about furniture recycling. <clears throat> yes, I did. Uh, and I really need to talk with probably Roger and Sasutko Bradley. Because oh. um, I've talked to Fresh Start. They've, 
I started back in January, and then I just heard from them again that they, they're interested in seeing what we can do together in terms of recycling usable furniture. And the last conversation they had is they'd be willing to show up with a truck, look at things that people bring in, and if they're acceptable, they would take them. Uh, and back to Fresh Start in Hudson, which helps set up families, new families, into apartments. Um, so our residents could avoid a disposal fee on furniture. Um, and, and if it's decent, yeah. Uh, it, again, there's no perfect solution. I mean, we may try it and only get a couple chairs or, or whatever. That's going to be up to, to them. But if we um, publicize it and give people like a month's advance notice that on such and such a date, we're going to do this, uh, we'll have to go online and, and put out Bur Berlin Neighbors Connect and any other thing. Um, and, and who knows, we might... Um, loosen up a few pieces of furniture that people have yeah. been and, procrastinating yeah. on. And you know. upgrade the neighborhood. You no, no longer have to see sofas on the side, side of the road. Of the road. Right, right. <laughs> After a rainstorm, yeah. which is yes. when, they're very, oh, I know. when they're very desirable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, nice. <laughs> and it kills me when you see a, another <coughs> chair out there after a rainstorm. Oh, oh yeah. I know. A nice oh, antique wooden chairs. Yeah. I just... Okay. But, um, so I'm gonna, I'll talk to Roger yeah. and his wife because I think they're, they're key in that. Um, yeah. And they know when to stop peddling stuff too, or, mm -hmm. you know, when to Yeah, I mean, they just cleaned it. it all out Did they? Did they? last yeah. week before they opened it up. Okay. And they threw out most of the stuff, yeah, so right. it's essentially empty. But they do a good job. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, is that open yet, or was it? Yes. It yes. is open. Oh, good. Yeah, we both. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I agree. Okay. Donna, if you want to go, you just give me a jingle, drive to my house, I'll drive you down there. No, I'll give you a gun. <laughs> but for the Tilly, I thought being a Berlin employee, I could use just the Tilly and, and nothing else. Or had that changed? No, you got to have a sticker to use it. Okay, because that's not... No, no, mm -hmm. not the Tilly. Not oh, the Tilly. We did. No, I thought the Tilly was the only oh. for, perk I had. For the employees. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah employees you can use. Right, yeah. right. No, I okay. touched my But you also have someone who would drive yeah. you down and load up your car. Yeah. I don't have that much this time, but thank you. <laughs> I do have some tech so All right, what else do we have on the list, Sue? Uh, uh, the last thing is the grant that. application, which we... This is the grant application. So yeah. Oh, okay. And... Uh, Mattress recycling, recycling incentive. Grant. Oh, did you talk to BP about that? He's working the with mattress. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is November first. Okay. And yeah, Pete was saying, oh, it's going to be sooner than that, but it isn't. It's November first. Right. But did they have a? Are they going to be renting us the bin or the? Um. Or we unless we get one through the grant. Okay. And. Um, when we apply, we want to get, and I talked to BP, it should be a 40-yard container, which is bigger. Yeah. <coughs> and Pete was going to put it at the bottom of the wall. But you, and I said, Pete, the mattresses, they're going to be expensive. We need to stack them in there right. like dominoes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's going to be up on top. Yeah. And he goes, oh. Yeah. And the, the big ones have a door in the back where you can walk They right all in. do, yeah. 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 So, uh, so it, was it was kind of indicative of how he was thinking, yeah. and that concerned me a little. Now, yeah. does anybody here have any experience applying for a grant? No. no. Does Mary have experience in applying for grants? I don't know. I don't think so. Will you ask? I will. Because Margaret does a little, but, but who? Margaret, but she's not... Yeah, I mean, oh, I, no, we can't put this on no, Margaret. No, no, she's got enough trying right. to clean up her plate. I mean, we could try it. It's just yeah. we had to log in through the retrap connect. Okay. I'll, I'll have Mary look at this to see if she. Okay. 
and See you something? and I can go and make sure I get my butt down BP here could Friday enlighten morning. you on what's going on at other places too, right, Paul? Maybe a little on. Yeah, well, they're not going to be able to help us with the grant thing. No, but. no, but they might steer us towards what we should be doing. You know. No, we know we know we need a forty-yard container. Yeah, Sue and I, we'll, That's we'll, all. we'll tackle it. We just. Okay, do you have anything else? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Vacations, everybody's all set for their... <laughs> <Everybody's Yeah. stuck. laughs> Vacations. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't have brought uh, We'll move that to the next meeting. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else. Uh, um, so we are meeting on the third, or are we not? Not if there's a town meeting. I would. I think we should. I do too. I, okay. Yeah. If there's. Be, be, Bob is not over. very much on the no. town warrant, so we're not going to go a second day. No. Okay. No, I don't see that either. Okay. So I can't justify not meeting. Okay. I do think we should buy the land. We'll go for that property, don't you, Paul? Or Sue? Well. I want to hear more about the financing of that. Yeah, hopefully it's... Yeah, I haven't read the town warrant yet. It will add to another 200 acres, so I, I think it's prudent for us to try to... I, I think it's good for the town in general. But yeah, I'm just not sure... The right, right price, I, I don't know. Well, no. Uh, it, it, it takes it off the tax roll. Con was being a little murky about the finances. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, right. see, I haven't heard any of that. I thought it was going to go through Sudbury Valley and the whole screen. No, I heard that from somebody on FinCom. So uh, that yeah. needs to be that yeah. needs to be looked at carefully. Hashed out, right? Before uh, I mean, it's a good idea, but yeah. uh, we need to watch the financial aspect of it. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn <coughs> this meeting. Oh, one last thing. I got an email from Margaret today, and she is going to set up a meeting with herself, myself, and Pete, which he has requested a number of months ago. Okay. So do you need some paperwork for him to sign while you're there? Paul, or no? <laughs> do you need me to come and record it? Um, that would probably constitute a meeting, oh, yeah. and um, this is... This is probably going to be the town administrator. He just myself. volunteered. I can do anything because I'm not. <laughs> well, that's to going to be up to Margaret, not, triple, uh, not me. So. Triple, uh, triple kit, anything you sign for. <laughs> I went to Verizon and found out how to record in my phone. Oh, look at Yeah, see, I can sound so online. stupid with cell phones. Yeah. Well, I'll second that motion. Thank you. Okay, <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Time to get this